So today I am going to try a different kind of art project. I have my Artist Loft White that is mixed one to one with Oatrol Easy Flow. And then I have a rainbow of colors which are right here in front of me. But I'm kind of zoomed in <coughs> so you can actually see this canvas as I'm working on it. So all of these colors I mixed and that information will be below in the videos. They're all mixed. Everything is mixed one to one with Easy Flow from Oatrol. Oatrol is a European company. I mainly share this because they give me free product and it is a super quality product. I'm very pleased with it. I actually prefer it over Floetrol, but it is more expensive. It's harder to get, but it's I use it especially for the people that cannot get flow trawl that might have a chance of getting this. Also in all of my colors, it doesn't matter about the quantity of the paint, I just put one drop, one little drop, not a pump, just a tiny drop of coconut milk by OGX Anti Breakage Serum. This is a four ounce bottle. I've had it at least six months and I'm halfway through the bottle. It goes, it lasts forever. But you just put one drop and you barely stir it into your colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna base coat this canvas, which is a 10 inch canvas. It's a deep canvas that has push pins on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a base coat And I'm just using one hand that's gloved because I'm going to take this off when I'm done and just use my regular hands. I'm going to use this Wilton Easy Glide Icing Fondant Spreader, which is fabulous. And I do want this paint to go around all the sides. So as I spread it, I'm just moving it over the edges of my canvas. Make sure it goes to the edges and covers the sides in case you have any artwork that happens to drip over the edge of the canvas. And I thought I would really like to attempt just some regular artwork with brushes with this fluid art and see what I can do with the brushes. So I'm just going to make sure this is spread around all the edges really well. And then I always tell people, you can bang your canvas a few times. You can even blow. You don't even have to have to put heat to it. You can blow on it to release any bubbles. You can stick a finger in and release any bubbles. It takes very little effort to release the bubbles. You should not have that many bubbles in your paint. So I'm going to put this aside and I may or may not use the white again. So I'm going to cover that up, but um, I'm going to rinse my tool. I'll be right back. So I thought about a background and maybe, maybe I do want a little bit of color on the background. So I have some of this Cerulean Blue, which has OGX in it, and I'm going to put just a little bit in a cup. And what I'll do is I'll add some of my regular white mixture, at least as much, if not more, than the blue. And I'm going to stir this up. So this will have some OGX in it. I want it just really pale and soft. So maybe I'll put a little bit along the edge here. Stick my brush in and I'll dabble a little of the cerulean blue in with it. I just don't really want much. I just really want a soft background. You know what? 
I'm not going to swipe it. I kind of like the way it looks right now. So what I'm going to do is just pour kind of randomly. And I don't know, I'm going to take a fan brush. This is a fan brush. I'm just going to glide and move the paint around a little bit and see what happens. The white is super thick on here. I probably put too much white. I can actually, I can put the rest of this blue because it's pretty pale. So let me just show you a fan brush. You could put this in the blue and use it almost like you do a, a string pull, but I'm just showing you that. That's what a fan brush could achieve that look. So I'm just kind of gliding my fan brush through the paint here and there. This will create a little bit of cell action on the white. I want this to kind of just feel like a soft sky background because I want to do flowers. Let's see what the cobalt blue looks like just by chance. It's been sitting here a while. It's really, really thick. Okay. So that's the cobalt blue is a little bit too much. But what I can do is I can put it at the very, very top. You know how the sky is always kind of deeper at the top and then it becomes lighter as it gets closer to the horizon. So that can be a bluish purple there at the top, which is kind of pretty. So this just gives me a soft background. Now I'm just going to make sure my drips are evened out on either side. This is purely experimental. I wanted to see if I could literally paint on the color over the white what would happen. So I'm going to take Okay, so my paint is too thick. So that's not going to work. I'm going to switch gears here. I'm going to switch to my squeeze bottles. So now that I'm going to switch to squeeze bottles, I am going to swipe. And I'm going to put this turquoise color here. Maybe with just a hint of this co the ultramarine, not cobalt. Ultramarine blue right along this top. See, it's not laying down right there on the, that one area. Take it back off. Lay it back down. So that gives a little bit of illusion of sky. And, yeah, I think I'll leave it that way, and then I'm going to do some flowers on it. I put the paint on super thick, 
And so I think that's why it's not really wanting to cooperate with me and what I was going to attempt to do. So it's like, okay, well then I'll just do plan B. So I'm going to do some little stems here and there. I'll check it down to the end. And I'm trying to do it in a really thin line. But because the paint is so thick, the paint is spreading out. And I also want my flowers to be different heights. But I think what I'll try first is to do one. See how it turns out before I go any further. So that would be the center, maybe. I want to try to see if I can do petals. So maybe I'll try the that's dioxazine purple. I think this is vivid violet, but it may be a different color. I'm not sure. And it. paint's been sitting there for a while. It can separate and I didn't shake it well. So I'm going to try to take this petal off. So you always get to see me experiment in front of you and make mistakes and all that good stuff. And then let's try a little bit of white. And see what we get here. So I don't like the white. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to try this again. And this is a two ounce writer bottle, but it has a, a thin point. These are two ounce ones. They're really great too. I like that better. I'm not loving it though. Cool cells though. So we could do 
these. I think I'm going to redo these petals here. Okay, I've got the darker green, which is kind of like a teal color. I'm just going to add a little bit here around the bottoms of these. To me, this looks really, really juvenile right now. So, <laughs> because I, you know, I'm, I have been a trained artist for 20 years, and I can paint flowers all day long, and this looks very juvenile. So I am not saying that this is like fine art here by any means. I'm going to put some of this lighter green through this. I'm going to take my skewer and just <coughs> play with the shapes of the flowers just a little bit. I do not like this one at all. So I'll just put a little bit of the turquoise blue back here in white and let it do its thing again. So maybe I'll put just a hint of yellow down here. And a drop of orange if I can just get it to come out really very faintly. And then Use my skewer just to kind of squiggle it through. Just to give these flowers here a little bit of the orange and yellow that's going on on those. I'm going to redo the yellow in the middle of that one. So I want something down here. So I think what I'll do is do the uh, the peacock teal. Let me try. I have a navy here. Let me try a drop of navy and the festive green color some sour apple and some yellow. Try my little palette knife here. So that's kind of pretty. So I'll do a few at a time. So that doesn't look like a butterfly. So that got scraped off. So I'm going to put me a little white back on here. Probably a little too much white. Take it over the edge a little bit. Let's put this straight out turquoise color on it. I'm 
and a little cobalt. So this was swiped. Okay, so I'm going to go back and put a little bit of purple here. A little of this color. Move it around with the end of my tubing. So I'm not crazy about these flowers like I have been about my other ones. See, I'm wondering if I should blow over the center of these or just leave the yellow. <clears throat> it looks kind of juvenile and I'm not like super crazy about it, but it is what it is. And I want to add another leaf right here. So I don't know if that helped or not, but I'm trying to give a little bit more definition to the petals. Okay, so it's florally. It's not fabulous. I do love my leaves. I love, love, love the leaves. I like the navy with the greens. It, it gives it that punch of deep color, which I love that. Um, I wish I could kind of rein in the edges of the lines on the stems because they're kind of watercolory. They're kind of out there. All right, I'm going to call it finished. There it is. Like I said, I love the leaves. They're my favorite part. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.